Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 29, and we are going into war number two. And looks like we're fighting uh, an alliance called Avengers 716. All right, so we're gonna spectate the path and see what they have in store. I'm a little bit late getting in here. All right, yep. All right, so no defender on that first node. And we've got Mr. Sinister. Warlock should be able to handle him uh, without too much difficulty here. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, yeah. Warlock should be able to handle that. And, whoa, already Section 2 is open. Uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant's going to handle that Colossus. Uh, we've got Ultron. Uh, she can handle that as well. And we've got Spider-Ham. Um, Warlock can handle that fight if needed. This fight has, um, you know, the strike counter uh, combat power rate. But the annoying part of this is the buffet. And uh, was it Chitinous uh, Thorns? So... That Warlock should be able to handle that fight uh, without too much trouble if I need to take it. And we got Mini Boss Island here. We've got Thing on that left side. Normally, uh, I would go in there with a Nick Fury, but this is a Rage node. So maybe I would end up having to use uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant if I need to take that fight. We've got Black Widow, Deadly Origins, preferably somebody with uh, shock immunity, but uh, Nick Fury can do that fight. Uh, then we've got Apocalypse. Uh, whew, on that node, if I needed to, I'm thinking Black Widow Clairvoyant can do it. Warlock can do it. Might boost up even. Just push him to a special three. And uh, just go ham. So that, that's a possibility, uh, a strategy for that fight. Uh, down here we got Mole Man. We've got Killmonger and we've got Mangog. Usually uh, the same person will just come in at the end and bring counters for all three of those. And we've got a Bishop Boss. Preferably somebody that is incinerate immune. Uh, and I believe tech has an advantage as well. So perhaps warlock. Uh, if I'm asked to, you know, jump in there. Yeah. All right. So that is the plan. Uh, I'm going to bring in warlock. I'm going to bring in clairvoyant for sure. And I'm trying to think. Normally, I would bring in Nick Fury. I'm trying to think, is there someone I can bring in? Um, yeah, I need to talk to them and find out uh, who is planning to take who. But I could leave out Nick Fury for someone else to handle... Uh, someone on uh, Mini Boss Island. Hmm. But I already have some people that could help out already. So we'll see. We'll see uh, uh, as I go in here. It's kind of late already. So uh, I may just go ahead in with Nick Fury and uh, call it a day. All right. So we will be back with the fighting. All right. So this time. I'm going in with my standard attack team. And again, those attack tactics or whatever mean nothing to me. Uh, not with my team. Anyway, I would have to select a different team. All right. But I like to go over them anyway, uh, show you guys what they are. And you never know. I may decide one of these times to go in with someone who actually benefits from one of those. But 
that's not this team, not my standard team. So for the most part, I just kind of ignore them. All right, so I'm a little late getting in here. Uh, as you can see, they've already taken path one and two. And so I got to fight this Mr. Sinister. They've already taken the mini down as well. Uh, so this first fight against Mr. Sinister, as a general rule, Warlock is the counter for Mr. Sinister. He's not the only one, but he's like a perfect counter for him. And unless the node itself causes you not to you know, want to use Warlock for whatever reason, a disadvantage or something like that. Um, Warlock is who I would say you want to take in, okay? He can stop Mr. Sinister's healing. And what I try to do once I get the infections up like that is just basically fight him. I try not to do a heavy attack while he has a special one, okay? Because he'll fire it off and get rid of it anyway. But... It doesn't matter to Warlock because Warlock is immune to that bleed. So it's not as big of a deal. Okay, but sometimes I do fire off a heavy attack. And what I'll do is while I have the bleed on him, like I just did there, which you saw there, I was holding my block. So he would be less likely to fire off a special. So that bleed is working on him. He's got the infection, so he's not healing. And I got a fire, uh, you know, I fired off a special three and that's it that's the fight so yeah i love using warlock anytime i see mr sinister um but if i didn't have warlock nick fury could do that fight but it would be a little bit more dicey because i'd want to make sure that i had a bleed on him and then just try to let him bleed out bleed use the bleed up before i push him to a special one if he has a special one I want to bait it out before I put a bleed on him, okay? That's generally how I would fight him with a um, Nick Fury. And Claire, she could do the fight. Not the best, but she can do that fight as well. All right, so we're in Section 2, and we've got our old buddy Colossus, who you already know, Clairvoyant, rips up on this node. He's no problem for her. Uh, she strips away all of his armor ups. If it was not for Claire, he actually is annoying on that node. Uh, I remember one time I went up against him with a Corvus, thinking, okay, you know, Corvus, you know, mutant, I'll get a, a charge for Corvus. That's a Corvus trap. I won the fight, barely. But that's a Corvus trap. You, you don't want to do that. You know, but with Claire, perfect, perfect. You know, he can't keep those armor ups. And so you never really have to worry about, you know, the uh, chitinous thorns. But if you let him get an armor up, then you do. You'll get a bleed on you. But of course, you can cycle through, get the bleed off of you. Claire is just awesome. All right. So next up, we've got Ultron again. Now, in the last war, you will remember I wanted to bring Magneto in for that Ultron. This time I said, you know what? Never mind. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I'm not going to even uh, bother bringing in Magneto because I know Claire can do that fight. So can um, Warlock. I would not bring in Nick Fury for the fight, even though he could do it. But why? I have better options. Okay, now I'm using boosts because I have a bunch of them expiring in my overflow. All right, uh, if I don't use them, they're going bye-bye. Uh, Kabam gave us a lot of compensation and you can see I was looking at that because I was thinking I need to use them because if I don't, they're just gonna expire. Uh, so best use them, you know, even though this war did not go very well okay a little spoiler there um but in any case you've seen me fight ultron with claire on this node before if you watch the first war of the season and i'm doing pretty much the same thing as you can see i wanted to make sure i got that special two off before i pushed him past that threshold where he's gonna gain you know regen 
And because she gives them a buff immunity, which sounded so weird at first, but now you can see how useful it is. You make them immune to buffs, so he can't get his regen. So it just made the fight go faster, okay? Um, but even if we didn't do that, she can nullify um, buffs. So yeah, she if you are relying on buffs, she will shut you down. She is awesome. Unless the node prevents it, she is awesome, okay? So now we've got this mini and it's Spider-Ham. Now you remember when I was looking at the buffs before and I said I was thinking about something? That's what I was thinking about. Boom, I used an invulnerability boost. I have two of them right now in the overflow because I had claimed uh, one of the packages that were about to expire and it was all during off season. And now that we have a season on, we don't have that many um, fights that I can even use it on, you know? But I have some others. I have at least uh, three compensations that I haven't claimed yet. So that's another six invulnerability boosts. Uh, so may as well use them, you know, why not? And as you can see here, I'm just trying not to dex I'm just blocking, putting in those bleeds, and that's it. All right, so that was it for my participation in this war. Um, uh, not like the first uh, war, I didn't get a boss fight in this one. All right, so we'll be back in a minute, and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we lost this war as well. Just like the first war, we had two people not place their defenders. So we were two down. Now, we did fight a little better than we did in that first war, but still nowhere near what I know we were capable of. And right now, we're going through a little bit of a rough spot. We've lost a few people. Uh, some of the folks that were MVPs uh, in this war uh, have left. And we're getting in a few more other untried uh, folks. We'll see how this season goes. Um, but there's, there's a lot going on right now. We're rebuilding. Big Blue is now the leader. Um, but I don't know. I think he was the leader more to just kind of keep things sort of together. But we'll see what, what happens. Um, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.